The President, please be seated. Le Président, veuillez vous asseoir. The court is now back in session. And before I hand over the floor to uh, the defense counsel for Mr. Kilson Pond, the chamber wishes to inquire. Uh, the Chambre defense team, but uh, you have uh, de many, many more si questions to be asked à poser, uh, because today is uh, Friday and we will have to vendredi, um, be able to estimate the time needed to put the questions and the arrangement for the transportation for the witness back to Phnom Penh. Pour faire les arrangements de transport en conséquence. Je pense que nous aurons terminé à 16 heures, peut-être même avant, Monsieur le Président. I think we'll be done by 4 p.m. or even earlier, Mr. President, but at the very latest at 4 p.m. The President. Thank you. And now you may proceed with your examination. Le merci. Vous pouvez poursuivre. Monsieur Peshim. Euh, hier, <coughs> vous avez parlé des, des projets de travaux dans votre district, you're, you're to à cette part. Vous avez expliqué qu'entre 1975 et, et 1979, and 1979, les chantiers qui étaient entrepris dans votre district se faisaient au départ sur initiative du district, district et après approbation du secteur. Et ma question est la suivante. Est-ce que le secteur venait au préalable sur le site du futur chantier avant d'approuver le projet du district Ou est-ce que le secteur faisait confiance, dans votre expérience en tout cas, aux propositions qui lui étaient soumises dans le district Je vais recommencer, monsieur. Je vais, je vais reposer ma question. Lorsqu'il y avait des projets de chantier, de travaux, dans votre district, est-ce que ces travaux étaient d'abord, comme well, vous l'avez dit hier, proposés par le district. Est-ce que l'initiative the des travaux venait du district Was it the district that took the initiative to establish such work sites <laughs> the president, um, council, please uh, put uh, your question uh, to the um, witness again. Uh, it appears that uh, the battery of the uh, witness uh, headset uh, was gone just now. The battery is dead. Entre 1975 et 1979, les chantiers entrepris dans votre district se faisaient-ils sur proposition initiale du district Were they established at the initial proposal 
of the district level. It was uh, the uh, direction under the direction of the district. We consult among the district committee, and then uh, once we agreed, uh, we decided uh, to uh, implement it. But of course, it was in line with the direction of the uh, zone. For example, uh, they would uh, advise on the construction of a dam. Then we would locate the appropriate place uh, to uh, construct uh, that dam. And we would uh, take out the map if any. Then uh, we would uh, consult among each other on the shape and the uh, general uh, 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 spec specificity of the uh, dam. So uh, again, uh, it was not the sole decision of the district, but it was the uh, collective decision of the uh, zone together with the district. Et pour reprendre votre exemple, une fois que Le district avait décidé de l'emplacement d'un barrage. Est-ce que euh, la zone ou la région se déplaçait sur place pour euh, vérifier ou est-ce qu'elle faisait confiance à la décision qui avait été prise au niveau du district Batman. When that happened, did they send someone on the ground to, to verify or just, just relied on the proposal of the district? Yes, uh, that was uh, correct. Uh, under the uh, guidance uh, of the uh, zone, then we would locate the place, and then once we agreed uh, on the place to construct the dam, we would show them uh, to the area, and then uh, once we got the approval, then we would uh, implement the construction. Merci, Monsieur le témoin. Je vais passer à un autre sujet. Qui concerne la circulation des enveloppes fermées ou ouvertes entre le centre de sécurité de Krangtachan, le bureau du district et le bureau de la région. Je vais essayer d'abord de résumer ce que vous avez dit à propos de la circulation de ces enveloppes. Donc si je comprends bien votre déposition, vous avez expliqué que des enveloppes fermées qui contenaient les listes des détenus de Krang Tachan quittaient le centre de sécurité, étaient envoyées au bureau du district, vous ne les ouvriez pas et vous les transmettiez au bureau de la région qui les ouvrait, qui prenait une décision sur le sort des détenus de Kreng Tachan qui replaçait les documents dans des enveloppes fermées Put the documents qui vous in les envoyez envelope, afin que vous les transmettiez you, so that à Krang Tachan. Est-ce que j'ai bien résumé la description que vous avez donnée des enveloppes fermées, the description you gave du trajet the des enveloppes fermées provenant de Krang Tachan The envelope uh, sent from Krang Tachan. Sometimes, actually, it was not. Uh, 
sent through Grand uh, It was sent directly to the regional uh, department office. But sometimes uh, it was sent uh, through uh, 105. If, uh, if it relates to Tramka, then it would uh, send through Tramka. Uh, but if it relates uh, to um, Treng or uh, Kirivung, then uh, uh, it did not uh, send through um, that. So uh, that was the procedure. If it relates uh, to uh, Tram Ka uh, and Tram Ka's people, then si it would uh, be Tram sent Kok, uh, through Tram Ka. Kok, and if uh, we, there Kok, was anything that we could uh, protest, uh, then we would, but we, we had to be uh, backed up by um, the reasons and justi proper justification, otherwise we would uh, dare protest. Merci pour cette précision, monsieur. Thank you for this clarification, sir. Rappeler un passage. I would like to remind you in passing votre déclaration aux enquêteurs du tribunal to du 19 juin 2014 c'est la code E319.1.18 et c'est la réponse question réponse numéro 86 question and answer number donc je vais lire la question et la réponse. Question. En principe, le pouvoir d'un secrétaire de district s'étendait-il sur tous les problèmes de sécurité, les centres de sécurité, les arrestations et tous les chantiers existants dans le district Réponse. Il n'avait pas le pouvoir d'arrêter les gens. En revanche, ils pouvaient mettre en place des mesures de sécurité et résoudre des problèmes de manière qu'il n'y ait pas de traîtres. Les centres de sécurité relevaient de la compétence de la région ou du parti. Un secrétaire de district était en charge de la propagande, de l'éducation et de l'approvisionnement en ville. Il était également chargé de résoudre des problèmes de la vie quotidienne des habitants, de supprimer les traîtres et de mobiliser des forces pour lutter contre l'ennemi. Fin de citation. Ma question est la suivante. Supprimer les traîtres dans cette réponse que vous donnez sur uh, la définition de votre rôle de secrétaire de district, ça veut dire quoi Pratiquement, supprimer les traîtres à ce moment-là. That was the instruction of the front, and it was the instruction of the uh, district. Uh, I could not uh, explain any further. So we try to um, re-educate uh, them. And if they uh, had the conflict, uh, we would try to compromise and mediate uh, the conflict. And we had to uh, rebuild uh, our solidarity. That was the role of the um, district uh, committee chair. Uh, so that was that was our role, and I, I did not do anything further than that. Donc, quand vous avez répondu aux, aux enquêteurs so que votre rôle était notamment de supprimer les traîtres, il fallait comprendre que votre traîtres. rôle était de rééduquer les traîtres. You meant that cela, monsieur. They had to be re-educated. Is that what you meant, sir? That was the role of the uh, district. 
That was the role of the party. Uh, they had to take uh, the firm control and responsibility of that in line of uh, part of the party. And we we only had the right uh, to propose, but uh, the overall decision was uh, decided by the uh, party uh, representative. That was the uh, revolutionary party uh, line. So the party uh, representative would uh, take control of everything in the leadership. And for the committee, we only we were only entitled to propose, uh, but uh, the decision was up to the uh, party representative, and we would propose uh, that to the uh, party representative at the sector, and then they would forward it uh, to the decision of the uh, party representative at the uh, zone level. D'accord, au niveau de la zone. I was going to say that you yourself were a member of the party, unless I am mistaken. Nous avons au dossier la déclaration d'un témoin, the statement of qui est le témoin TCW822, qui a été interrogé à votre sujet et qui a indiqué que Pendant le camp Poutia démocratique, vous aviez un surnom. Vous étiez surnommé le maître de la mort. Est-ce que vous connaissiez l'existence de ce surnom The Master of Death. Do you know of the existence of that nickname? That I do not know. I did not understand what they described, but we were very uh, careful uh, in implementing our uh, res responsibility and duties. We had to um, avoid from being uh, too harsh, too cruel, but I did not know what uh, people would describe that because that was the uh, words of uh, people. There were tens of thousands of people. They would uh, speak uh, differently of different uh, situations. Maybe tens of thousands of people like it, but one or two thousand people did not like it, and there were uh, more than 250,000 people in uh, Tramco uh, district. So whatever they said, whatever they commented, it was up to them. I do not uh, want to uh, elaborate on. I was not uh, resented uh, with what they uh, would uh, describe it. Est-ce que c'est une suggestion que je vous soumets, monsieur? This is a proposition I'm making to you, sir. Il est possible d'imaginer que pour éviter d'avoir à assumer vos responsabilités réelles. Having to assume the your real responsibilities de Tramcock, as the Secretary of Tramcock District, traîtres, in terms vous of avez suppressing rejeté la responsibility sur le niveau hiérarchique supérieur, c'est-à-dire la région. You reverted the responsibility to the superiors at the level of the region, or the regional level, which was above the district level. That was not correct. That was uh, emanating uh, from uh, the war, and it was uh, natural. It was the uh, natural occurrence. C'était un phénomène naturel. A natural occurrence. 
nobody uh, established it and they named me as the master of this so it was up to them and I myself knew it very well that I did not do that I followed the instruction I followed the party line that's what my role uh, I did it uh, I was with them so I could not uh, excuse myself I, I had to I had to do as per the instruction oh. But I did not put the blame uh, on the on the sector. Uh, that is not my intention. I have no further questions, Mr. President. The President, uh, thank you. And Judge Lavenge, you may proceed, please. Just for the needs of the transcript, Mr. Verken, est-ce que vous pouvez nous dire quelle est la référence du document Mr. Verken, euh, faisant can you état de euh, la citation le maître document, de la mort et éventuellement containing nous dire euh, the expression quels sont les maître de la mort, master of death can you give us the reference of that document please je vais les trouver pendant le, les questions de mon confrère et I'll look for the reference avant la fin d'audience while my colleague is putting questions to the witness and I'll give it to you after the hearing. The President, um, thank you. And uh, Council Kungsumon, you may proceed. Council Kungsumon. Thank you, Mr. President, and good afternoon to all. Uh, Mr. Pichem, I have only a few questions uh, to ask you. You responded to some questions uh, on the 22nd. Uh, of April in relation to your role and in responding to that question you said that you was a member uh, of the uh, district committee and you were uh, the fifth uh, one of the fifth or uh, five members and uh, your rank uh, at that time was equivalent to the uh, district uh, governor uh, now so I would like you to enlighten the court uh, in relation to uh, the uh, second third force and uh, fifth uh, in the committee, uh, what was their rank uh, at that time uh, following the liberation in 1975? Response. Response. Uh, the, f the second person was the uh, party a representative, and the, the third one was the uh, party representative as well, responsible for the mass. Uh, so these were very important people. A correct interpreter, uh, the first, second, Correction and the third the was a uh, post. Post was uh, designated post. by the uh, uh, sector. Par le sector. And he was a uh, representative of the district party. Et il and the fourth district. one was responsible for military affairs. And then the fifth one was myself. Uh, I was responsible for economic affairs. And I only came uh, to join uh, the team uh, only later on. So the front was at the frontier. Uh, so uh, the parties were, had the uh, powers at that time in the district committee. Look at the district. Council, thank you. Can you elaborate uh, further as uh, for Po, uh, who was a member then, uh, what was his uh, responsibility and duty then? Response. Portiet was uh, in charge of uh, women affairs. He uh, come uh, alone, uh, could not control all the uh, affairs. That's why Port uh, assisted him. At that time, uh, for women, it was the for women for the entire province. So he was uh, responsible for that.
And Ju once uh, became the secretary of the district committee. Were there any changes uh, when you were members of the district committee and when you later became the secretary of the, uh, of the district? There were only changes uh, after I uh, left already. Actually, there was a change uh, after I left already, council. Uh, the changes I am talking about here is the uh, restructure on the uh, the responsibility of the between the secretary and member of the district committee. For example, in relation to the appointment and designation of uh, people, were there any changes of responsibility uh, under uh, the district at the time? Response. I do not understand your question. I do not uh, quite understand it. What do you really want to know? Specifically, can you please be uh, precise and uh, succinct? Uh, Council, I just would like you to compare your role and responsibility when you were a member of the district committee and then when you later became the secretary of the committee. What were what was the uh, differences and similarities of your roles and responsibility uh, in the two uh, positions you held? Response. There was no uh, differences. Il n'y avait pas de différence. When I left, uh, that I was res I was responsible for the party affairs. But uh, then my place was not taken over by anybody else in economic affairs. So even if I assumed the new role uh, for the party, but I was also responsible for economic affairs, I uh, took care of the construction of them and the rice production. The party did not send anybody else uh, to uh, take uh, the place uh, in economic affairs. But we delegated it to the commune. The commune had to take care of the rice production and meeting the target uh, expected. But in terms of the differences, uh, there was no differences, uh, but it was only an additional responsibility, additional burden uh, on me uh, when I assumed the new role. Council, thank you. Regarding uh, your experience as the uh, district chief or district secretary of a uh, tram corps district during the uh, decay period, la du en tant que did you ever involved in solving issues, practical issues, -vous eu à des in uh, your area? Domaine. For instance, on the uh, solution through food exemple, uh, shortage or food issue, what was your actual solution uh, to that matter? Que vous avez à ce Answer. Yes, I resolved many uh, food uh, issues. Oui, j'ai résolu bon nombre de problèmes I alimentaires. I myself did not uh, make a, a decision in solving Moi those issues. Je ne pas de Usually, de we, we the district committee, would call général, the uh, commune secretary to meet us to uh, discuss the issues they had, whatever they needed or whatever they could si offer the district, for instance. Pour savoir, uh, ce offrir au district. 
So the issues we discuss and deal uh, directly with the uh, concerned Donc, commune. Nous traitions directement Council, avec thank you. la commune concernée. La défense, merci. Can you provide uh, the court an example un of a uh, practical solution, solution pratique, which was a concern of the commune and which was uh, brought ah, to your attention at the district level and that you resolve it? Sur votre que vous answer, as I said, we resolved uh, many issues. Nous avons résolu uh, and de I problèmes. cannot recall a, a particular instance. Je ne me souviens pas de cas particulier. We resolved all kinds of issues for the Nous sake of the people in our district and uh, cooperative. District et dans nos we usually deal with the issues of the uh, living condition en of général, the people in the cooperative. As for the clothing, the clothing was provided uh, by the party. So, uh, upon the necessity, we Ainsi, would uh, make a proposal to the upper echelon for certain clothing through a specific unit, for example, a female unit or a male unit. Certains vêtements soient acheminés aux unités de femmes ou aux unités d'hommes. In one instance, we attend, uh, attended a meeting. At the sector level, and we were told that they had clothes and that uh, we could obtain it and we could distribute it to our people. Et qu'il était possible de les distribuer à notre population. So at that time, I personally would uh, sit on my uh, leg and uh, get the clothes as a sign of respect to the upper level. Alors, général, and everybody uh, did the same. Jambe, je prenais les vêtements en signe de respect. Tout le monde faisait pareil. That is just an example Ce for you. Exemple. Council, thank you. In relation to a health care issue, s'agissant des problèmes, did you ever receive a request from a hospital or a health care unit for medicine, and that you had to make a further request to the upper echelon to obtain it? vous à votre tour formuler une demande auprès de l'échelon supérieur afin d'obtenir ces médicaments réponse on the issue of food uh, of medicine supply and yes uh, s'agissant de l'approvisionnement uh, en médicaments oui je m'en souviens uh, sometimes we made a request to the people in Phnom Penh and sometimes we received Phnom Penh, some of the uh, medicines that we request for instance from hospital 22 par exemple, pour and then 22. we will distribute those uh, medicines to the hospitals located in aux hôpitaux qui se various communes and in some uh, in uh, some mobile treatment uh, units. Et dans certaines unités and that happened after the itinérant. country had been liberated. Cela eu lieu après la libération du pays. And sometimes we obtained some serums for the injection of the patients. Du sérum, and uh, it was uh, locally produced. However, it was rather effective as patients uh, recovered efficace, from their illness. De so, uh, in short, we could uh, resolve the health care En résumé, il était possible de résoudre les problèmes d'ordre sanitaire. As for the medics, usually they would carry uh, that kind of serum in a bottle with them when they went to uh, various uh, locations within uh, the area. 
for the treatment. And sometimes they made a joke about uh, that a serum that uh, all people ask the younger children to go and get uh, that juice to drink as, is, as it uh, looks like it was an orange juice, but in fact it was uh, a serum. Council, thank you. Regarding the need of the people in your district, comparing to the available medicine supply, what was the, 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 the difference or the gap? Was the medicine medicinal supply the sufficient for the need? suffisamment de médicaments pour répondre et satisfaire les besoins en médicaments? Answer the, the medicines that we obtained though was not in surplus, it would have to resolve the situation to a certain extent. As after the country was liberated, we could obtain some uh, medicine for the treatment of the people in the district. And uh, some people who had their ch children living in mobile units elsewhere or in Phnom Penh, uh, they could send uh, through their parents or relatives living in my district uh, in terms of a clothing Les and uh, some medicines. Council, thank you. Besides the, the medicine supply uh, that you received from Phnom Penh, Outre was there any other source of a supply? Answer. And uh, also, I received some medicine from Tamok, but allow me to say Tamok also obtained it from Phnom Penh. Council, thank you. Did you make any arrangement to purchase medicines from overseas, for instance, uh, from Vietnam? Answer, no, I did not. We did not make that arrangement. Council, thank you. Question, merci. On a matter of uh, security, Pour ce qui est de la sécurité. did you ever receive any person who uh, came to seek your help that his or her relative had aide, been arrested and that uh, the request was for the release? Que cette soit Answer, yes. Réponse, oui. Some people only dare to come to uh, approach me. They did not dare to approach Koma directly. Usually they would approach me and ask me to take them to see Kom. However, the, the end result varied as some people could be uh, released while others could not. And I mentioned that in details during uh, my testimony. If it was uh, reasonable that a person shall be released and if the person who came to seek uh, the release was reasonable, then we would decide to release uh, that uh, a person. We uh, listen to their reasons for their request and we consider them. And upon the release, the release of their relatives, we would uh, advise them to engage in a productive uh, manner. So usually we, I was uh, approached a lot uh, on this uh, matter.
As for people in Tramco, usually they talk about Niu, so and they say that Niu should not uh, should not be mean, and that Niu should, should be as good as myself. Uh, that is, uh, me. Council, thank you. On the issue of uh, making an arrest of uh, anyone in your district, was the arrest initiated uh, directly at the base level or was an les authorization or order came from another level? Answer. I have uh, spoken quite in details on this issue. J'en ai déjà parlé en détail. Council interrupts. L'avocat intervient. Can you tell the chamber? Pourriez-vous? In terms of the percentage of the arrest. In your capacity as a, a, a district secretary or district committee, district ou du comité, was all there uh, for the arrest nous dire, uh, issued mostly at your level? At your lower level or at your upper level? Answer. I knew when I came to work at the office and when I was an interim uh, district uh, secretary. In fact, when I was there, there were fewer cases of arrest. I tried to avoid uh, people being arrested. Usually, I would try to resolve the matters uh, as much as I could. For example, when the, uh, the conflicts uh, arose, I would not believe uh, what I was told yet. Then, I will be asked to go and Ensuite, make an inquiry on the matter, and it would, uh, I would discover that, uh, in fact, uh, the issue came from a minor conflict of a certain individuals, and I met the reporter, my superior, and then there was no case of the arrest at all. Council. Question. So, what would be your estimate on the uh, number of arrests uh, arising from uh, minor conflicts? d'arrestations liées à des conflits d'ordre mineur. Answer. They were very few. Réponse. Il n'y en avait que très peu. Mostly, uh, for those who had conflicts, they would not be arrested or detained. Les we would go down to the best and we would uh, educate them. Nous and de les education éduquer. here means that we advise them briefly to the point on the spot and that they uh, should learn to live with each other. Other and to compromise. So, uh, to respond to your uh, questions, there were uh, only a handful of uh, cases. And I mean, uh, it could be uh, 20, 10 to 20 uh, percent of all uh, the matters. Council, uh, thank you.
question. Merci. And on the issue of uh, theft, for example, stealing uh, food or stealing vol, uh, coconut, did you coco? yourself involve in uh, resolving this kind of uh, issue? Have you yourself participated in the resolution of this kind of issue? Answer. On the issue of uh, stealing fruit or stealing a chicken or stealing rice, I heard about that uh, during um, the meetings, and I would advise the commune uh, chiefs to resolve the matters at their respective uh, communes. And if people People's, if people uh, stole because they uh, did si not have uh, enough en food to eat, then I would advise them so. Manger, eh bien, and of course, I myself informé. did not uh, personally involve in making that Moi, decision. It was a, a joint decision by the chairperson of the uh, district party and the district uh, committee. And if the people involved are living nearby, then they will be called uh, to meet us. We listened uh, to the problems and we would uh, advise them to not to do it again. Council. Were there arrests that uh, you could not resolve and that ha those people had to be sent uh, to uh, the detention center or prison. He referred to the, the nature of the arrest uh, as uh, stealing food or stealing uh, chicken or stealing rice. Answer, no, there was none. People who stole fruit or who stole a food was not sent uh, to Les be detained. Council, uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Witness. I don't have any further question question for you. And allow me uh, to read the ERN as requested by Judge Lavenge. The, the French ERN is 01-09-09. 3760. The English ERN is 01050219. And the Khmer ERN is 00969938. And the document number is E305 slash 13. Point twenty-three, four hundred and fifty-one. Thank you. Four hundred and fifty-one. Thank you. President, thank you, Council. Le The hearing will adjourn today. Nous allons à présent lever l'audience. Uh, what is on your mind, Mr. Deputy Co-Prosecutor? Qu'en pensez-vous, Monsieur le Co-Procureur? Uh, Mr. President, I have a request to the chamber uh, in relate before this witness is excused. Um, this is the first time in two years I've asked for this, um, but uh, a major inconsistency has emerged between the testimony of this witness during my examination and questions from Judge Laverne and questions from counsel. Um, I'm not asking for myself to engage in re-examination, uh, but I would like to request the chamber to ask a couple of questions of this witness uh, to clarify this matter. What I'm referring to is that um, during my questioning and Judge Laverne's, uh, this witness testified <coughs> that there was an instruction uh, from the sector chief to purge the enemy officers, uh, which instruction, excuse me, was then conveyed by uh, District Chief Com at, at the meeting. Um, Today, uh, we heard that there was an instruction from Tamok that at least certain uh, ranks uh, were not to be harmed. Uh, I note the witness said that that was the instruction he used the words at the time. Uh, this is a fundamental issue here, and I believe that uh, 
before this witness is excused, Et je pense que le um, ne it se would retirer, be beneficial to the uh, to all of us uh, for the chamber to ask a few questions to clarify uh, the, the witness's testimony with respect to there being these two different instructions, particularly in view of there being uh, uh, hundreds of documents from Tramcock. Uh, recording the arrests of lieutenants and ranking officers. So that is, that is my request, that uh, the chamber put voilà a couple of questions formule, to the witness to try to clarify this matter. Le président. The chamber will grant the prosecution five more minutes to put questions to clarify the issue, and the defense teams will be afforded the same time, that is five minutes. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Uh, Mr. Witness, you, you heard a little of what Monsieur I just said. Um, the reason I'm on my feet now is we've heard um, two pieces of significant testimony from you in regards to what happened to law and officers. Uh, you told me uh, and you told Judge Laverne uh, that there was an instruction from Sector Chief Saum relating to the purges of officers and that uh, when we asked you about evidence that had been provided about a district meeting, you confirmed that YECOM uh, had conveyed the instructions regarding purges of officers. You were also shown a number of documents uh, from Tramcock relating to the arrests of Lano officers. Uh, this morning, uh, you were asked by counsel uh, about a meeting that another witness had testified to. And you described uh, a meeting with Tamok, uh, where he gave an instruction relating to uh, certain ranks of officers uh, indicating that they were not to be harmed. Uh, you indicated the words you used were that was the instructions at the time. Um, can you please clarify for us? Uh, your testimony on this. Um, how is it, uh, as you've acknowledged, uh, that law and officers uh, were executed, um, and why is it that YECOM uh, conveyed an order to purge enemy officers in view of your testimony uh, regarding the meeting with Tamok? Allow me to uh, clarify that uh, that was the uh, regulations and the regulations we set down from Tamok to the sector and the sector to Jikom and that was the chain of uh, command. And that's how it works as the waterfall, it falls from the, from the height non, down to the lower part. Excusez-moi, correction. Même chose que pour les chutes d'eau, cela part d'en haut jusqu'en bas. Uh, we understand that the instructions came from above, Mr. Witness. What I'm trying to figure out is um, how do you explain these two different instructions. Uh, was there a point in time where the instructions changed and the policy became to purge enemy officers? And if so, when was it uh, that that occurred? 
Pourriez-vous nous dire comment cela s'est passé I do not uh, fully understand your question, so I uh, it is rather confusing for me, and I think I have spoken in uh, details on this issue. President interrupts, uh, Mr. Witness, you have provided uh, contradictory statements and that is why we are seeking clarification voilà from you, nous souhaitons que vous apportiez à présent des so that you can explain to us the, the reasons for the discrepancies and what you have just uh, spoken, even in the Khmer language, is difficult to understand. It is not a matter of interpretation. It is a matter of the statement that you made. It is rather uh, confusing. And of course, uh, Mr. Witness, you were reminded at Et the Mr. beginning Moi, of your testimony that you have the obligation to uh, only tell the truth. And vérité. Mr. Deputy Co-Prosecutor, please repeat Monsieur your last question. Votre question vous plaît. The question is fairly straightforward. Um, if it is true, direct. as you said this morning, si ce que vous avez dit that vrai, Tomok gave si Tomok an instruction not to harm officers between certain ranks, if that is true, grade, why is it si vrai, that Sector Secretary Som se instructed Ye Kom and Ye Kom instructed Som the district and commune chiefs Com to purge enemy officers? Did the instructions change at some point? Soon, uh, they would know about uh, those people, and of course they knew, uh, they knew about that after the 17th April come. Uh, convened a meeting Comme after that uh, to raise uh, the matter pour and uh, what we had to do as to the uh, the ranks uh, or the range of ranks of those uh, former uh, officers de, and that officiers. happened after the 17th April and of course uh, Com uh, received instruction Comme from him it's from Tan I mean de Tamok, de Tamok. Let me just try one more a time, slightly different way. Uh, I gave you two uh, large documents um, during my questioning, um, E34095 and E32107. These are two notebooks that came from Krang Tchan um, from, uh, that cover uh, a number of months in 1976. In uh, one of these books, there are 105 prisoners who are recorded. That's E34095. In E32107, which covers the period of December 76 to January 77, uh, there are 90 people listed as being arrested and interrogated. The majority of these people Mr. Chim, are former Law Nol soldiers or officers. Was the district deciding itself to arrest these people, or was it making this decision pursuant to instructions from the upper echelon? President, uh, witness, uh, please wait, and Council Kong Sum On, you have the floor. 
Monsieur le témoin, veuillez attendre, maître, comme ça m'a dit. Des greffiers. Could you liaise the information to the uh, general service section that they should delay the buses? Section des services généraux qu'il faut retarder le départ des bus. I, uh, from what I heard, that uh, the chamber granted the prosecution five minutes, and I think the time ran out. And I believe the statements made by the witness, despite the discrepancies, the chamber has no obligation to uh, make sure that his or her statements are consistent. That is the discretion of the chamber as to which statement is credible and which is not. And if we uh, uh, are granted time to uh, verify the discrepancies, I don't think this is a way forward. President, uh, witness, please respond to uh, the question. Witness. Sometimes I, I am afraid uh, my statements are mixed up as I have been bombarded with many, many questions. And maybe I gave two uh, responses uh, to uh, the same uh, question. So I believe that, that is your honor's uh, discretion to uh, judge uh, my uh, statement. And of course, uh, I. My recollection is not uh, that uh, great. Sûr, ma mémoire, uh, President, uh, Mr. Co uh, Prosecutor, uh, please uh, finalize your question as the time is running out, Monsieur and maybe the defense uh, will also use the same time. Yes, I, I just have one question if the witness will answer. Uh, Mr. Petschem, um, you said at the start of these proceedings that you wanted to tell the truth. There are records of hundreds of arrests of law and law officers. My question to you is simple. Is this something that the district was instructed to do by Sector Chief Saum? There were two faces. When uh, Com convened the meeting, I knew we received the instruction from the sector. I learned from Com. In that meeting, there was the record of the meeting, and then they decided uh, along the line of the uh, direction of uh, the sector. That is to the best of my recollection. As for uh, the arrest and the number of people to be arrested, I did not witness uh, uh, the uh, arrest and I uh, did not uh, see the implementation and I myself did not carry out uh, the arrest and I never issued any instruction to the commune uh, to carry out the arrest. Thank you for the opportunity to ask um, more questions. I I um, appreciate the time. de m'avoir donné le temps de poser ces questions de clarification. Je vous en suis reconnaissant. Président. The president. Uh, I would now like to turn to the uh, defense councils. Do you have any uh, questions to ask for clarification? Um, uh, no, Mr. President, we don't have any questions. I think the answers of the witness were crystal clear. Réponse du témoin était parfaitement claire. This for the Defence Council for Mr. Kilsen Pond, we do not have any further questions, Mr. President. The President, thank you. The 
hearing is now coming to an end and uh, the hearing uh, shall adjourn now and resume uh, on Monday uh, next week and we will uh, hear uh, the key documents uh, relating to uh, Krang Tachan Security Center. So the chamber uh, invites all parties to attend the hearing. And Mr. Pichim, we thank you very much uh, for uh, taking time to answer to the questions uh, put by the parties in the chamber. Your testimony is very crucial to ascertaining the truth. So your uh, testimony is coming to an end now. So uh, you are excused uh, from the courtroom. You may go uh, to your own uh, uh, place and duty council we thank you you mr mung Suwan, for accompanying the witness a uh, court officer please uh, facilitate uh, the transfer of mr pichim uh, with the witness uh, support uh, section uh, and security guards are instructed to bring the co-accused, Mr. Nguyen Chia and Mr. Kiu Sumpon, back to the detention facility and have them back uh, in this courtroom on the 27th uh, of April uh, 2015 before 9 a.m. The court is now adjourned.